Okay, so we're going to update the queue playlist. So you're going to go into queue. You're going to go into settings. And as you can see, there's no information on the guide. So we're going to go into settings. And we're going to go down to... Oh, we're going to go into settings. Sorry. Playlists. Add playlist. And of course, you're going to go in and do the whole reload everything. Okay, once you get to this part, once you're past logging in, you'll get to the playlist name. And once it's done processing, you'll be able to add the playlist. So it'll just be one second. Okay, now we'll add Q2. And once that's processed, we'll go back in and we'll erase the original Q playlist. Okay, so now you can see it's updated and there's Q and then Q2. We'll go up here to Q. We'll go here to delete playlist. We're going to delete it. And it takes a second for that to work. So then we'll go back in here. We got Q2. And so now the Q2 is up there. Now it does show no channels. It takes a second or two for it to catch up. We'll go back here where movies are because I know when I was doing this the other day, none of my movies. Now they all show up. Before, as you can see, it didn't have them, but now it does. And then I'll go back into TV. Went into all channels. Still shows no information. If that continues to be the case after a few minutes, there is another step that you could do to clear that up. I had this happen on one of two TVs yesterday. One did it without any problem. The other one did like this where it said no information. So I kept checking back and forth to see if it was catching up. And now all the TV shows are catching up, so that's good. But as you can see, my list is empty. So it will erase everything and your favorites are also gone, so. And it's still showing no information on all channels. So we'll give it a few minutes, and then I'll show you what you do to fix this. Okay, so it's been a few minutes, and there's still no information. So what we're going to do is we're going to go in here, and we're going to go back to... We're going to go in here to Fire Stick Settings. We're going to go down here to Applications. We're going to go to Manage Installed Applications. Going down to Q, clear data, and to do that you use that backwards. Now we got it all cleared. And we're going to go down to downloader. We're going to go into the launch application, go over to files, go over to QPAC. And you're going through the install process again. What that does is clears all the information that was in there. Now, some people are clearing that before they do the Q2, and I haven't done that one yet on a TV, but it makes sense to me. So, you just go through the setup process again. And we're going to go ahead and do that. In Q2, after you've logged in, done. Once you wait for it to finish installing, everything comes back up. I don't know what it is, but that worked for me. And unfortunately, you will lose all your favorites. So if I go up here to favorites, they're all wiped out. But again, we all know how to get those favorites loaded on faster. And that's in the other video. So hope this helps everybody. I know it's kind of a pain to have to do this every now and again, but uh, it's well worth it because the guide works really well now. And it seems to be uh, pretty accurate. So uh Happy streaming.